it's me. And today we're checking out some very creative people. If you ever wondered how they paint each individual piece of hair on a painting, it's with an individual piece of hair. It doesn't get more realistic than this, does it? The finest of brushes sitting upon my scalp. Oh, it's a croquet doll of a pregnant mother. Oh, you could take off the, oh! <gasps> you could pop the baby out! The, the baby pops out! You got the USB cord and everything. A baby's still charging. He ain't ready yet. Plug him back in. Oh, is there more? Another one. Congratulations, it's twins. What's the red thing? Oh, is that the placenta? This is like very detailed. Yeah, I didn't get one of these blankets when I was born. We have one of these. I think they still have these. It's been over 30 years. Y'all gonna drop a new model or what? So the mouths have a little attachment and you can plug in either a bottle or a boob. That is extremely detailed. I mean, if you've ever wondered where babies come from, now you know. Don't tell me that's soap. That's a chocolate bar? It's edible, right? I'd be getting bamboozled by too many of these videos. Everything nowadays is either slime, soap, a scent melt, but no, it's actually candy. A chocolate bar. It's beautiful. Oh man, I would be salivating on the sidewalk watching her cut that out. And she gives free samples. My people are too scared to take them. They're like, I don't know. I've seen this on TikTok. It's probably soap. Thanks for the trust issues. <gasps> They took the best chicken nuggets, the dinosaur chicken nuggets, made a volcano out of mashed potatoes and gravy. Why was I not served this as a child? You know, maybe I would have had less trauma growing up if I had this for dinner. Sending this to my mom right now. Now I gotta go make it for myself. However, I do not like the mashed potato to chicken nuggy ratio. There will be a lot more on my plate. <gasps> POV, you spent all your money on beads? Those are beads? What do you mean they're not edible? Look how perfect and delicious they look. They look like the perfect berries. It's always the stuff I can't eat that I want to eat the most. Look how good these look. Bro, I might risk it all. Break a tooth or two just to get a bite. Oh, they need to make candy that look like this. I cannot believe these are beads. Haribo, why y'all ain't got a candy like this? I want to suck on them. No, but they look delicious. Do neon of twice, please. I don't know who that is. Someone gonna have to explain to me who that is. Is that tape? You're making art out of masking tape? Okay, me and my nails could never. This is way too detailed. Also, peeling and re-sticking tape would piss me off. Oh, that's kind of creepy. No way! How do you go from this? Put it to the light. Oh, she's gorgeous. Imagine walking into a dark room. You see this hanging on the wall. <gasps> I would have scared the heck out of me. And then you bring it to the light. Y'all are good. She doing a Peppa Pig? <laughs> I don't know, I thought she was drawing a snout on. But a sushi! I ain't never seen anybody transform themselves into a salmon roll. <laughs> That's kind of creepy. I don't know how you go up from this to this when your crush says you like sushi. That's not what I meant. We asked a Japanese restaurant in Dubai if they wanted an anime style promo. They agreed. I already know this is gonna be good. We directed their head chef to do a bunch of random moves. I really hope I don't get trolled. There are so many of these videos where I just like watch through the whole thing, like trust the process, and then I end up getting trolled. Oh, and then the final result. Oh, he moving fast. Oh, he's quick. Bro teleported. I cannot believe how good this came out. Me personally, I would've paid big money for a commercial like this. Y'all just walked up to a restaurant and did it for free. I would've at least gave you a lifetime of bento boxes for free. What kind of mug is this? It has a hole in it. Oh, the hole leads it to another mug that's attached onto the outside of the mug. But wait, then it water falls into the other mug. So every cat has a mug full of blood. Just kidding, it is probably pomegranate juice. It's cool, but it's not practical. Hear me out, how do you drink from this? Do you start with the littlest cup, and then the medium cup, and then the big cup, or do you just sip from the other side? No, but then it'll spill. I think you have to drink the little cup first. This is making my brain hurt. Okay, I don't trust anything I see on TikTok. Oh, that is a good looking Sunday that looks delicious. Take a bite. Oh! You know, I had a feeling. The bananas looked a little suspicious. The ice cream wasn't melting. But the, the sauce, the whipped cream, like the cherries. I am convinced that they be making TikToks from an alternate reality where they dine on slime. There's no food in their world. Literally slime for sustenance. 
Oh, it's Anya. Yeah. Oh, that face rotates. I want to see the rest of the faces from Anya to Saitama. When I said I wish anime characters were real, this is not what I meant. Cake? No, I do not trust anything anymore. Carpet? It's like a rug! It's yarn. This one really takes the cake for bamboozling me the most. It's on a piece of canvas. Okay, but it's moving around, so it's soft. I, I don't know what it's called, but they like weave through a can- Oh, this is like blowing my mind. You messing with my head like this? That is sick. I don't know what anything is anymore. Don't ask me. Can't believe I actually pulled this off. A customer asked me for something that I was nervous I wouldn't be able to accomplish. But then I remember I have this magical powder. What does the magical powder do? She do a Naruto nail art with the finest brush I have ever seen. Literally like pop two hairs on a pencil. She wanted Shikamaru's Kagemane Jutsu on a set of nails. Whoever ordered this is down bad. I respect that, I would do the same thing. I actually did order custom anime nails of my favorite Bleach character. I don't think I've shown you guys. So. What did the magical powder do? Does it make it shiny? Oh, when she puts on that top coat and everything just like bam, bam, yes, ma'am. You see how the lines just like appeared? You ain't a nail artist at this point. This is witchcraft, black magic. Okay, what are we transforming into? Put some fishnets on? Oh wait, no, they're gone. Cheese? She gonna be a slice of cheese? Oh no, the cheese has a mouth and eyes. Maybe the cheese is alive. Oh, wait, could it be? Oh no, I thought it was Spongebob for a hot second. It's like a moon. If the moon was a slice of craft cheese. Oh no, there's a bow tie and a dress shirt. It, it's gotta be Spongebob. I don't remember Spongebob having teeth. Oh, that ain't Spongebob Squarepants. That's Spongebob the hash slinging slash bringing slasher. All right, that's kind of creepy. That's pretty good though. I ain't never seen a Spongebob creepypasta before. They making art out of a watermelon. Y'all be doing some crazy things with a watermelon. They just expanded it. How did they even do that? Y'all carved the watermelon. It's like one of those expandable tables. Watermelon got like four stories being held together by chains of its own skin. It's like stuck in there. Free him. I kind of do. Then I dropped that so it doesn't even matter. Actual footage of me doing a makeup tutorial. Yeah, that's where my skill caps. <gasps> Whoa! And just in time for spooky season, it's October now. Where'd her neck go? Oh, I see it. Illusions. Okay, I think her eye is closed and she drew on top of her eye. Okay, it's cool, but like you can't see. Oh, I love these videos. You're gonna take this orange piece of paper and blend it in with the background. Oh, they did it. Literally disappeared. What orange card is literally gone. This is like blowing my mind. How do y'all do this? That was very cool. I asked my 84 year old dad to draw me something with my makeup. That lipstick is beautiful. That's a work of art. So let's see what he can do. So you're an artist. Are you good at it? All right, but why does it kind of look like James Charles though? In 15 minutes, he made a literal masterpiece out of lipstick. Imagine what he could do with a crayon. That is impressive. I'd buy a spoon from you. Oh, this is the girl why that does the commercials. I would literally buy air from her. She make everything look so good. We making a spoon commercial now? You're trying to get me to buy a spoon? But, but I already have some. Doesn't matter. Look at that. Gorgeous. Oh, she make canned soup look good. Okay, you know what? This, this wasn't even about the spoon. This is about the soup. But the commercial is for spoon. I don't even know at this point. Just take my money. Hello friends, it's me. And today we're gonna be checking out some very creative people. They took a light bulb. <gasps> Let's snatch it away real quick. All right, y'all telling me, y'all are making an artsy landscape with just some light and this filter. No way. Using their fingers, I did a... What? Wait, 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 no way, no way. That's... I don't believe that for one second. Y'all put in a picture. Hmm, I wonder which one of these does not belong. At first, I was very confused. I'm like, what is that? What kind of shape is that? Yellow and then started putting some black stripes on it. Like, a bee ain't built like that. I mean, he do got cakes. But he is the cake. Which is it? It even wiggles. That is inappropriate. Uh, I'm eating the butt piece. 
Okay, not like this, like this. Wait, but y'all make it look so easy. Is drawing realistic people really this easy? It sounds so simple. It's like draw and blend, draw and blend. And wham bam, we got a whole entire nose, ma'am. It simply cannot be this easy. This is one of the craziest makeup transformations I have ever seen. I don't know what I was expecting, but it was not this. It's just bedazzled. You ever just wake up one day like, I wanna be 3PO, but bedazzled. I can't imagine how long this would take to do. 100 layer nail challenge, but make it aesthetic. Oh, we kind of look like a jawbreaker in there. How many layers we got? Whoa! They just like leveled it all down. I would have left it thick. Think of all the snacks you could hide in those pockets. Like a bean for later? I think so. <gasps> Can you just paint an iPad like that? Whoa. What kind of markers are you using? And they made Luca! I have never seen such juicy markers. Screams in pigment. Uh -huh. It came out so nice. I wonder what it's gonna look like after you give it to a four year old that eat Cheetos off the screen. I've been watching a lot of these videos where they take random things from the dollar store and make them into something extraordinary. Like two laundry baskets, wrap them up in the streamers, blow up some balloons, put a bear in it for a couple of dollars. You got this gender reveal thing. If you ordered this from like a party planner, they would charge you like at least a couple hundred dollars. But well, bam, they did it for less than 10. Another dollar store DIY. Take some poster board, some plastic wrap. They made this box out of it. What? That's incredible. Y'all gotta start setting things on fire for gender reveals and start doing this. Like, it looks so good. Look at these pants I made. You can inject liquid into the pants and it's just like, a wee. Where does it go into your foot? Where does the end of the tube? I was just dangling. I thought you were gonna get a soggy sock out of it. That was one long silly straw. I've seen a bunch of her TikToks. She does these insane anime murals. And wait, it's not just one wall. Y'all have to see this finished product. She really freehanded that? Just take the spray can like, Ali, what if you mess up? Uh, when you're a really good artist, do you mess up? Or I think when they mess up, they just like cover it up. But this is one wall. I would love one of these walls. And another wall. This one has a window in it. And Shenron two on one wall. All four walls of the room. Oh my goodness, this came out so cool. And you put the black light on it and it's like glow in the dark. Imagine playing like laser tag in this room. I would love one of these, but like bleach characters. So they hired a painter for their wedding and this is what it started out like. They want them to paint this, this scene specifically. Oh, you painted in real time? Oh man. Did you at least take a picture? Did your brain take a screenshot or something? While y'all were partying, they were painting. Before the party is even over. They finished this entire masterpiece. Impressive. They poked holes with a needle into clay so it looked like a cloud, right? And then glued the cloud onto this little hook and then just wait till they mix up the resin, pour it into the orb. Whoa. And then put the cloud in it. So you got this tiny little ornament charm that looks like a floating cloud. Imagine making 50 more for a necklace. Okay, hear me out. Gold bat with some thicky thighs. Say less. Designed the whole entire costume. Oh, got the blue suit and everything. The fishnets, the heels, and ah, uh, who is she? Ooh, yeah, I can't believe it. it came out so good. Making all your gold bat dreams come true. My roomie wanted to cover her whole ceiling with CDs. It took 400 CDs. Oh, I can't even imagine how much time this took. <gasps> Whoa, it actually looks pretty sick. Until you laying in bed and a stray CD just boom. <laughs> Nails, but at a tree bar. Okay, I kind of like this one. This could come out very nicely. And it is not like food, so it's not gonna go bad. Oh, and then the inside of it is like wood. Pretty sick until the termites come get you in your sleep. Drawing progress over the years. And drawing at age eight. At age nine, already improved. Dang, you drew that at 14? 15? Okay, you're already the best drawer in the school. 16? I cannot believe this. At 19, you are a certified artist. Most of my life, I love drawing, but then I took a break for a very long time and I'm just now getting back into it. I would also like to have a skill glow up. Took some foil, rolled it up. Put some clay over it. Oh, we making a head. Oh, a titan. No. He's scary. I don't like him one bit. I really use a shade of piss yellow for his teeth. Oh, it looks so real. I'm terrified. The detail is incredible. Like that could be your second grade teacher. 
At first I was like, is she doing her makeup? And then wait, she isn't moving. She's painting. She's getting painted. That's a brush. That's painting each individual hair follicle, each eyelash. But, but, but it looks like a real person. It even looks 3D. I cannot believe that this is a painting. That painting is a paid actor. That mannequin's standing real still while you paint on it. <laughs> it's simply too realistic. This painting quality, better than my eyesight. More resin art. They made this cute little palette out of resin, poked a hole in it, and then put it on a necklace. And it's just as whittle as it is cute. Got this little sticker thing, put it on the push to start. I'll peel it off. Oh, there is an Iron Man head that you could attach to it. It just make you feel a little fancy. So every time you start your car, you just like flip it open and just boop. The nail lady that goes where no other nail tech has ever went. Somebody really brought their old charger to the nail salon. Like, hey, yo, pop this on. I want it to be a part of my nail. Uh, say less. She left the charger part. So you can literally still plug it into your phone. Imagine just casually holding up your phone like this. Imagine if she kept the wire and didn't cut it. I think it would actually work. But what would you do with the rest of the wire? Wrap it around your wrist like a bracelet? When your grandpa doesn't know how to use Photoshop, so he manually cut and changes the background on a picture. This background ain't it. Physically in my backyard. I'm trying to be in a grassy field in the Netherlands. I just cut it out and screw you youngins in your technology. Asking my guy friends to draw me makeup looks. Oh, both of them understood the assignment. Oh, he knew what's up. They actually did good. I feel like if I asked anybody, they'd be like, what? Scribble some red on my eyelid, like, how am I supposed to know? I feel like it is almost disrespectful how good she did this. Like watching something in 360p versus 4K. Hello friends, it's me. Today we're checking out some really creative people. After having fake nails for over 10 years, I finally got so annoyed with them that I ripped half of them off. This is what eye drops feel like. They're zooming out of a photo. How much can you possibly zoom out? We were just in like a tree house and now we are on a pirate ship? That world that we just saw is on fire. Oh wait, it was just a painting, it's okay. We're on a wall with many other paintings. Wait, you could zoom into every single painting? There is a whole story of a world inside every painting? I wanna know how big this file is that you could zoom in this much. Actually insane. I cannot believe this guy. If drawing one image didn't take enough skill, he drawing all of BTS at the same time? How is this even possible? I don't know, I feel like you have to have a certain brain that works a certain way to be able to do this. Cause how do you do six different images by controlling one pen? That is wild. Now he did seven. Oh, this just made my brain hurt. All I wanna know is how. They drew Lloyd, and then wait, y'all made him a little too white. Add some really dark shadows. You know, you really gotta trust the process for this one. And then start shading everything in. Bro, what colored pencils did that? That came out smooth. I've been using colored pencils wrong my whole life. Like when I'm done, it kind of look like that, right? But wait, you're supposed to use a lighter color and blend everything together? It doesn't even look like pencil anymore. It's so smooth. Oh, gorgeous. Dang, she got some long hair. Don't tell me you cutting it. They did not. They turned her into a princess. She look expensive. How you make hair curve like a Pringle? Oh man, that's beautiful. I know she annoyed. She been sitting in that chair for hours. Oh, I love the sound. Sounds like it's scratching my brain. They're like coloring, but it's felt. Oh, everything is made of felt, even the apple. Crazy things going on in the felt community. Like y'all drawing things out of felt, picking them off the page and eating them. This is a modern day witchcraft. They have a bunch of string. Oh, they're making a face. Oh, <gasps> say my name. I was about to say Heinz, but that's the ketchup. Heisenberg. Why does that still sound like a condiment? This is not a toilet. It's actually a cake that I was asked no! to make to prove that I could make no, a, that's super a toilet. realistic toilet. Don't and give me that. In return, I was going to get the hired to make this back. cake for a very big video and get paid a lot of money. And instead, I was not hired. And this video was shown to another decorator on how to make a toilet cake. 
And long story short, I'm never making a toilet cake again, and you should always have a contract before you make something. Wait, that's a scam. Hey, can you make a realistic toilet cake to prove you can make a realistic toilet cake? And then I'll pay you a lot of money, and you'll get to be in my video. So the person who scammed her was like, wow, look how great she made a toilet cake. Goes to another toilet cake maker. Hey, can you do this? Yeah, I can do this, but half the price? All right, bet, that's scuff. But look on the bright side, now you get to eat your own toilet cake. They got a bunch of Q-tips. Just little faces on them. Put them on a speaker and it's Q-tip time. It's like a little party. Before you sacrifice them to your filthy ear canal. A customer asked for something truly impossible. She wanted me to put the scene from Coco on a nail. I had to find a way to make five glow colors look brown in daylight. It felt like a huge mess. Oh, so the dog has to look brown in daylight and then colorful under a black light? How is this possible? Those are so insanely detailed. I don't understand how you could put that much effort into a nail and then people could just like wear it and then take them off. And then under a black light, look how cool it looks. She really understood the assignment. Ma'am, you have a talent. They took some white paint on a black canvas. Oh, I already know, they draw on Pikachu. Clearly, with a bottom that thick. Oh, he's gonna look neon, he's gonna look lit. It's crazy how that's all it takes. No, fill in his eyes. They gotta be black, otherwise he looks lifeless. There is not a soul or a thought in that body. Never seen anybody paint with a frosting tube. Oh, they let it dry and it's still thick. Do you ever just have like the urge to just or poke it while it's in the middle of drying? Cause I know this is gonna take days to dry. Let's make a Kirby rug. You know, it's not a creative video without a custom rug. It's just so satisfying seeing this. And I noticed they do this really cool thing where they like trim around all of the lines. So it kind of gives it like a more 3D effect. Oh, look at all that shedding. I thought Kirby was nice and smooth. So perfect. No foot is allowed to ever be placed upon him. Turning my insecurity into art. I have a scar from open heart surgery. I mean, that is nothing to be insecure about. It's like a battle scar. You fought for that and you survived it. But I mean, if you want it to look pretty, you do that. And you know, sometimes I forget you can actually just like draw on yourself. Free tattoo. Some Pikachu bread. You look a little burnt on the outside. And the inside is perfect. They probably thought it was a fail until they cut it open like, oh, right. They 3D printed a Yoshi egg and then you just pop the pieces in. Oh, it holds your games. Oh, that is so cute. And there's so many different colors. I don't know why I don't have a 3D printer yet. You could literally print out anything. I don't even have a regular printer. Y'all wanna talk about 3D. So they make realistic mermaid tails. Some of these even light up. Ariel had the seashells, but now they make like octopus tops. I wanna see somebody wearing that. They like hand paint these, each individual scale. The amount of work that goes into this is insane. Oh, I love the one that lights up. Being a mermaid is an expensive lifestyle. And the fish do it for free. Kiwi matching. I want to see that piece of paper disappear. No, the green is too dark. You must trust the process. Keep on blending. Oh, it's starting to disappear. Here it comes. You missed a little spot. I hope you go back in for that. Be gone. Nothing to see here but a kiwi. 100% edible. Very juicy. If you can blow up this balloon without putting your mouth on it, without blowing on it, without using no air pumps, no machinery, filling it up with water or anything like that, then I'll give you $100, all right? I already know she's gonna get that $100, but how do you blow up a balloon without blowing up a balloon? No mouth, no machinery, no shindigs, no witchcraft, no hoo-ha. Ah, oh, she put her glasses on. That's how you know things about to go down. Balloon blowing will happen without any blowing. She put vinegar in a water bottle, a funnel, put some baking powder in. Oh, I already know it's gonna blow up, expand, not explosion, hopefully. I don't see no coca mentos. It's not working. It's not? <laughs> Just kidding. Then dump the baking soda and then there you go. Balloon blowed. No lips necessary. No lungs necessary. That was the most expensive balloon ever blowed. <laughs> She makes dice with Pokemon trapped inside. Pikachu in there, free him. What's the point of dice with no numbers? So it does have the slots for the numbers. You just have to paint them. I can't tell you how fast I would mess that up. Look how cool this is. How did you capture Snorlax and put him in there? Do they like open up like a Pokeball? I think they put the tiny little Pokemon in a mold and then pour resin over it and then pop out the resin and you make these little dice. 
They're making a table. Took a bunch of wood, some rocks, a lot of pebbles, and some resin. I've seen so many people sell this on Etsy, and they're expensive. They sell them for like $10,000. Pour some resin, pour some more, make it look like water. It's like several layers of resin. Bust out the heat gun. Oh, it actually looks way cooler than I thought it would. The price, not so cool. <laughs> also, I have this thing where I, I like eating on a wood table. It has to be wood. I don't like glass, I don't like resin. I don't like plastic, like I like eating my food on like wood. Hello friends, it's me. And today we're gonna check out some very creative people. I love these markers so much. I just recently got one and I am dying to use it. It's like a watercolor marker. Ooh, that came out nice. We are testing an electrified samurai sword. I'm sorry, a what? We don't know what's actually gonna happen. So they're testing it for the first time. You told me lightning gonna come out of that thing. It's literally Raiden from Metal Gear. <gasps> Whoa, is this real? It's a weapon of the future. Okay, 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 hear me out. Samurai sword, but like make it electric. What's on his shirt? Kinda look like some nips. She does the most insane nails on TikTok. We got a whole entire crunchy taco. At this point, I wanna know what can't be made into a nail. Like a whole entire taco. Just pop that bad boy on, put some acrylic over it, and wa-bam, nails los tacos. Ah, oh, but imagine the crunch. They took an AirPod case, right? Take out the AirPods. Uh, Y'all gonna have to leave home for a little bit. Took out the insides of it. Wait, wait a minute. This case look a little sus. And then took a 3D pen. I don't know why it's so hard for me to believe like, yeah, this is a real thing that you can buy. And then traced out a crewmate. Oh, we gotta make this 3D. This is how you make a 3D pen actually 3D. Oh, it's like a basket. It kind of looked like the thing that you slice an avocado with. And then they put in like the internal battery. Oh, you gonna tell me it's gonna charge through there? Of all the places it could charge, through the butt. Yeah, perfect, it was a hole to begin with. Oh, this actually might turn out very cool. Got the shape right, you looking a little thick. All right, but how do I get the air pods out? And then it looks like he's melting it. You know, smoothing it all out. Encapsulated, forever. That is a thick boy. <laughs> I was sorry, I cannot deal with this hole. And then you put the head back on. Oh, so it opens like that. That one, that's the imposter. Ah wee! Are you pouring him a glass of milk? Oh, that's not milk. He's painted him. I think this is hilarious that they made an AirPods case into a crewmate. Paint all the nooks and crannies. Oh no! Don't hang him like that. Oh, that's a nice touch. they took a wireless charger and made it into the med bay scanner. You're kidding me. Okay, that's wild. I love this. That came out very cool. They painted a paintbrush in rainbow. Wait, why does that sound illegal? You can't paint a paintbrush. You dip the paintbrush in paint. Whoa, that's why. Pretty cool. What a toy from the claw machine and paint match it. Bet you can't. <gasps> they want a piggy. I'm Peppa Pig. I can't believe they start out with green. Add some red. I'm like, that'll make brown, right? No, wrong. Add some yellow. Oh, we're already halfway there. Y'all are so talented with these paint matching. I, I can't even deal with it. Mix in some red. Oh, there it is. That's the color. That's the color. Swipe it. It matches. It's exactly the color of the piggy. How you do that? I've seen people make vases out of clay, but this, there's even smoke coming out of it. How did you do that? Is this an incense burner? She's making a fuend. Oh, the mouth. It's open. He's ready to eat. It's chow time. And then add all the detail, brush him out. <gasps> add some mushrooms. I love mushrooms. I learned that mushrooms in French is champignon, champignon. My pronunciation is a little off. <laughs> and then the smoke comes out of the mouth. He ate some spicy. I love these rug TikToks so much. And they're making the Grinch. So basically you project the image onto the sheet, trace the rug out, and then you got a rug gun. And it basically it fills in the colors and you, you attach it to the yarn. And you like fill in the spots where you want the colors to go. And then when it's done, seal up the back. So now it's nice and hard, you know, like a rug. It don't fall apart. <gasps> it came out so nice. I am obsessed with these. Okay, what you got on? Oh, that is nice. Very satisfying. And doing it through the back of the nail too, that makes up for the taco one. You can't eat it, but it looks pretty good. 
spent 200 hours making this video. Whoa. So he made a hyperlapse from over 1,200 people's photos on Instagram. Oh man, just like every single picture that people took and combined them to make it look like you're actually, what, 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 what? The car moving, like how? It's like a video, like I'm actually there, but this was made of a bunch of people's photos. Tell me you like straining your brain without telling me you like straining your brain. I mean, he said 200 hours, like I, I can't even imagine. But who would actually wear that? This is art. It's okay, just say you can't do it. You don't have the skill required to do that. Girl, what you want, a tutorial? Six-year-old me asking my mom to braid my hair like this? It's literally art on somebody's scalp. That's insane. She made a fiber optic dress. And at first I'm like, wait, is that like light up? Oh, we ain't playing around. Start off with a skirt. That's a lot of layers. <gasps> and then when you turn off the lights and in the dark, this looks incredible. Like imagine having a light up wedding dress. I did not know there was fabric that literally lights up. The kids who grew up with light up sketchers now get married in this. They poured resin into these tiny little glasses. Put in a little fish, and then it looks like a fish tank. And there's many of them. Pop a hole in them. You got some earrings, you can make keychains out of them. That's very cool. A friend, not food. Watch me draw Selena Gomez from Mics and Music Notes. It's a stamp. How can you draw from a stamp? So they just stamped thousands of times. Oh, well, there's Selena Gomez right there. Well, they done prove me wrong. Drew a picture out of stamps. I ain't never seen it done until now. There are no monsters in this world, don't worry. Then what is that? They literally sculpted this out of clay. It's so detailed. He kinda look like a thumb. Oh, he's green now, unfortunately. Put some chains to him. Bro, that is a hollow. Oh, put him in a room with some remains. That's kinda scary, but I love it. Oh, okay, don't worry, he's in a box. He can't hurt nobody, he's safe. Don't worry, monsters aren't real. Because if they were, you would've heard about it by now. It would've been on TikTok. Oh! It's what the creeper from Minecraft would look like in real life. Now I know why they get so scared. If this cute little thing ended up looking like this in real life. This is what we call sand art. It's literally sand in a cup. And they take a needle and just like, I don't even know what they're doing to basically draw an image in the sand. Such a small detail. Some people go crazy with sand castles. Is this what happened when an architect goes to the beach? They really said sand castle. They even made it in the palm of their hands. Bro, how do you even do that? How do you even do it that small? Or maybe it was in the ground and then they just like scooped it up when they were done and it's like, a royal flea could live in there. Speaking of sand castles, this is how you do it. Hey, yo, I thought they just take a bucket and fill it up with sand and press it down and it's a mold. Nah, this dude is literally sculpting out a castle. All the windows and everything, there is a princess looking down at the peasants in one of those windows. Oh, it's like magic. You didn't want to show me the rest of the process. Well, we got a dude on a broom. Is this Hogwarts? I cannot believe all the work this took. And it's like one wave. Hello, wave. Drawing in the Apple store until they kick me out. Oh, that is nice. Are you basically giving them free advertising? Wow, so smooth. They literally drew one pick. Did they kick you out after that? Not me leaving before they say anything. I am dying to do one of these like paint pouring art things. Ah, oh, this one's got like different layers to it. I feel like I could do this. You put the paint in a cup and then pop. But I think it actually takes skill to make it look good. <laughs> what does shaving your legs feel like? This, take the razor and skirt through the cactus skin till you get that nice silky smooth skin underneath all the spikes. I can't believe how real this looks. This is a leg. Like if there was no foot, I would have thought that was a cactus. Why would you 3D print a stupid rock? It's not just a rock. Oh, it opens up. It's the rock. Hey, that's him. Is that the family guy or is that Vin Diesel? They kind of look alike. She's doing a table for the Hype House and she got all the logos on it. Did she just hand draw the Taco Bell logo? And we got White Claw, in and out Chick-fil-A. What a fun table. Who live in the Hype House? Comment below, cause I don't know. My sister wanted these for Christmas, but I'm not letting her be basic, so I spiced it up. She took these plain white shoes and then painted them, and they look so sick. Whoa. I thought this was a really neato idea, because she has a jar collection. She's like, I don't know what to do with this. So clean the labels off the jar, take the pump. Wait, it's gonna fit? How's the dispenser gonna fit? Oh, oh, wait, that looks stupid. Please fix it. Oh, so she spray painted it, and that would look fancy. I'm not gonna lie, it almost had me in the first half. Hello friends, it's me. Happy Super Bowl Sunday, but instead of football today, we're gonna be checking out some creative people on TikTok. Making Jessica Rabbit, AKA faking an hourglass body shape. How do you fake a body shape? Get some foam. Whoa! <laughs> that is wild. Hey, she dummy thick after that. She got an 
entire person and a half shoved into those hips. Oh, now to add some boobs. Oh, it's gonna take four bras. One is bigger than the next. And then shove foam in between them. Me creating my custom characters. Max out hip, max out boob. And then put it all together. That is incredible. I didn't even know that was possible. This is like cosplay to the next level. That is Jessica Rabbit right there. Oh, like this costume took her from an A cup to a double D cup. And a boatload of booty. Take some powder, put it in the dirty street. What is this suspicious powder you got there? Is it some flour? Hey, what are you doing? Oh, the cops have been called. Hey, where's security at? This dude is painted on our door with some doo doo water. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. It's starting to look good. Whoa. What? How do you turn this into this? Okay, that's so cool. Does it harden? Does it dry? Or can anybody just walk up to it and ruin it? You can take a vinyl and a heat gun and like melt it. I had no idea they melted so easily. You can just like mold them into whatever. I made a bunch of shells out of them. Whoa, I didn't know they were that sturdy. That is very neato. Personally, I would heat it up, roll it up into a burrito and then whack somebody with it. You know those videos you like binge watch of those guys building an entire like primitive house out of dirt and sticks? Well, then there's these guys who made a ton of ice cubes and guess what they're building? An igloo. Growing up, I don't know what my fascination was with igloos, but I was like obsessed with it. And I always wondered, I'm like, how do people live in like a little ice box? Where did it be cold? Like, look how they do this. It's a long process and it took them several days. Literally cut open some windows, put in glass. You know, gotta have a view from the igloo. I didn't even know they had windows. Oh, we got a little sitting area on the inside. I swear, they took all the snow from the village to be able to make this. Oh, y'all are making a bed out of ice? Isn't that gonna be cold? What if it melts? I love to sleep in a cold room and a cold bed. The very warm blanket. I can't believe they like made an entire igloo for a TikTok. This was in one TikTok too. Don't tell me you need a part two for anything. Oh, we're gonna review this product. Oh, we'll do a part one and then part two. No. They built an entire igloo in one TikTok. I don't want to see a part two ever again. It's even got a couch and a fireplace. I think the bricks around it and then the fact that there's a little chimney makes it so the ice doesn't melt even though there's fire inside it. I mean, that's how you keep it warm, right? Are they be grilling glizzies on it. That actually looks delicious. Got a whole entire mukbang. I can't believe they built an entire ice mansion. This is absolutely nuts. Oh, it's snow actually. Ooh. That peanut butter look good. But wait, when you realize it's not even peanut butter. That is paint. Everything you see here is a painting. But why does it look so creamy? It's the exact color, texture, and consistency of peanut butter. Oh, even on the knife? Nah. And intrusive thoughts are telling me to take a lick. Just a taste. Art that looks so good you can eat it. I cannot believe it's not actually peanut butter. POV, making your own wall art without spending $700. I thought about doing this, but I feel like I'm gonna mess it up. So she took cement, put in like a bed sheet, and then some canvases, take the sheet covered in cement, make some texture. Oh, actually this is looking pretty good, wow. So you're telling me this is gonna like harden and it's gonna make an art piece. You know, I wouldn't call this art, I would call this a wall covering. That looks really good. They'd be selling these on Etsy for like a couple hundred dollars but you could just make it at home. But you see, a lot of people don't have patience. So there was this girl on TikTok that allegedly is faking having a scar on her face. Cause people compared like a bunch of videos and the scar was like in different places on her face. Honestly, I think that's weird. It literally looks like somebody drew a red Sharpie line on their face. And then she does a scar makeup tutorial and look at that. That looks legit. I had some concealer. That looks like a scar. That's how the special effects folk do it. This coffee table is almost $2,000, so she decided to make it at home. All you need is some glass, some cement blocks, tape them together, and then cover them in plaster. Oh, all right, wow, that's actually looking pretty good. Pop it in the middle of the living room, put the glass on it. She did a good job. You know, you really have to trust the process, but that ended up looking real good. On Instagram, I saw the most incredible art that a subscriber did of me. Like, look at this. This is how it starts out. That's me. I got a fry in one hand and a drink the other, you know. Typical Friday night. It's kind of wild how it like, didn't look like me at first and then like she adjusted the eyes and stuff and now it's like, whoa, I'm starting to see it all come together. You know, this takes like an insane amount of skill. And then the finished product. You know, add some food to the background. Oh, don't forget the glasses. And my boba. You know, very on brand, me drinking my matcha. The absolute talent like just blows my mind gorgeous
They took a pill bottle, bedazzled a pill bottle. Each individual vitamins, not the bedazzled fish oil. Okay, but where do I get me one of these bedazzled pill bottles? Making vitamin time lit. That's a gorgeous shade of blue. Oh, I already know. Whenever it's blue, they're gonna transform into an avatar. Or a smurf, you know, it could be a smurf. Add some sparkles. Ooh, the hair really like put it together. Wow. I don't know how people take like professional photos like this and make it look so good. What happens when you put gel over a tattoo? Have you ever seen a landscape tattoo? These are so incredibly aesthetic. Like look how gorgeous that is. And then you put the gel over it and it really like makes it pop. I love tattoos with like such tiny little details. Like look at that, the Santa Monica Pier, better known as GTA 5. So pretty. Look at these nails. They look gorgeous, right? But wait, on the inside, there is a surprise. There are tiny little gingerbread man, a Christmas tree, and candy canes. How do you fit so much detail on the inside of a nail? You know, the part that is the most neglected. It's so fun. Wow. That is a lot of detail. Like, it's a whole entire party on the inside of the nail. I don't care if it's February. You win most festive nails. Ooh, that was smooth. What kind of device is that? This is so incredibly satisfying. Like you basically get these like gems and then pop them onto this paper. Basically every circle is labeled with what color you need to put in it. And then you just like pop them on. Oh, that is so satisfying. And then once you're done, it makes art. I feel like this would be such a relaxing activity, but it also it would take like weeks for me to finish. Just like smear some ash all over the paper. But wait, it gets even better. How do you take that and make it into art? Okay, at first it looks like a scribble. Oh no, did you mess up? Ooh, is that an eraser? I had one of those in art class, those stretchy erasers. Oh wait, I'm starting to see a face. So you didn't mess up. This was all part of your plan. You know, you could have fooled me. You know, you didn't really mess up until you like crumple it all up and then set it on fire and then throw the ashes into the ocean. You can always make it into something new. Oh wow. Now, I was not expecting that, a whole entire face and then some squares. You turn a little doodle, 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 little mess up into a masterpiece. You know, I don't see a lot of weird things on TikTok. Somebody took some sprinkles, put it in a pill maker, give it a few smacks, and look, sprinkles in pill form. What? And every time you need a little sugar, just like take it, pop it open, and just like sprinkles on the go. In case you think keeping a little sprinkle shaker in your purse at all times is kind of weird. Ugh, these are the best sprinkles. Tell me you can eat with chopsticks without actually telling me you can eat with chopsticks. Bro, that ain't even eating. When you're a little too good at chopsticks and you realize, wait, I can actually draw with two pens at once. Like there's being able to eat with chopsticks and then being able to do this. This is like maxing your stick holding level. But you ain't holding sticks. You ain't picking up a piece of sushi and putting it in your mouth. You draw on a face. Okay, I am very impressed. This guy decided to go to Walmart and make a hoodie out of a towel. And you're probably like, what? You know, I've seen people do this with blankets, you know, those really fluffy ones because it's like cheaper than buying actual fabric. This is actually looking pretty good. Ooh, dripped out, but it's a towel. So wouldn't that make you dry, like dried out? It ended up looking good. You would never guess it's a towel.